a 90 play scrimmage today, uh, and uh, it re went really well. Uh, defense made some plays, and then offense made a few plays. Um, so I'm encouraged with where we're at with our football team. Uh, we obviously need the work uh, next week, and then we'll start to tempo down a little bit uh, before we travel up to Michigan. But um, our attitude's good. Uh, players are, uh, are excited, uh, comfortable with our coaches. So we just got to keep rolling and uh, get ready for next week and then get ready to play in a game. What's your biggest concern going into the season, Mike? Well, always you uh, you have some guys that have never played, and, and uh, they're, they'll be in an environment that uh, they're not accustomed to, obviously playing on the road. But, um, you know, you just want to take care of the ball and play hard. Other than that, I'm not really concerned about a lot. Defensive tackle sort of the unproven spot. How, how's that looking? Uh, I've been pleased with, uh, with Vince, Mote, and Eric Davis. Uh, those guys have, have made some plays inside. We, we need them to, uh, to to be strong in those A-gaps and let our ends make plays. Um, Position-wise, that, that is a concern because uh, the guys playing it, uh, at that spot haven't competed at this level. But for the most part, uh, they've had a good camp. He understands our concepts. He understands protections. He's a very, very uh, well-rounded back. Um, he brings an attitude and a toughness. So, um, yeah, he brings a lot of talent. and. Uh, you know, depth and competition at that position, which is the most important thing that he could bring. You talk about that depth, that competition. Is that almost making that position better when you got guys like that going at it in there? Absolutely. Competition will always do that. It, it, it's not just tailback, it's quarterback, it's O-line, it's receivers. Um, anywhere, you know, even and you look anywhere in, uh, you know, your position, your job, competition is going to make you better. It pushes you to be the best you can be. Yeah, I feel uh, real comfortable. I feel like We've, uh, you know, we've really taken advantage of these practices we've had all the way back to spring and, and to fall camp. And this summer, I feel confident in our guys, and I feel like the way we're playing right now is, is you know, on both sides of the ball. The defense is doing an awesome job of really bringing the energy every day and, and competing with us and bringing the best out of us. So, um, you know, we're going to take advantage of these next few practices and get everything we can out of it and really iron out, iron out the, the wrinkles. So, uh, so we're excited. Doesn't it make you feel more secure though when you see? From the virtually from the start of camp, the same five guys in the same five positions yeah. on the offensive line. Oh yeah, I mean we've been blessed so far with you know a few injuries, and so we're hoping that you know continues. But um, those guys have done a great job up front, um, really working hard. Um, Coach Atkins has done an awesome job with them, bringing them along and teaching them some new schemes, all that. So um, you know he's they're, they're they've been awesome so far. Just do the best they can. You know, you get to know me. You know, I, I'm not a big uh, Projection guy, you know. Uh, I hate to put expectations on a young man, and then all of a sudden people run with it. If I say a good thing about somebody, then two more stories down the road they've made him into a, the Heisman Trophy, and then all of a sudden, if he doesn't reach that, everybody says he's failed. Emmanuel Ogbaugh is a, is a, a football player who's trying to do his best for us, and then after that, you know, let him write his story. I don't want to write a story. Let him write his story, and after it's all said and done, we'll, you know, then we'll say what kind of player he was. Uh, when you first saw him play, what was your kind of first impression of the guy? Uh, he was real raw, didn't play strong. Um, you know, he, he had some athleticism for his size, but he had so much to learn. He didn't play with good leverage. In high school, he could get away with some stuff, and then his first year here, you know, he's getting ridden off the ball, and we redshirted him, right? So there's a reason. He wasn't ready. And then he started getting stronger and started taking coaching. And he starts playing with technique and playing with passion. And he has a chance. And then he starts taking his game to another level by his commitment in the offseason. And, and uh, you know, just every year he's become better and better. So I hopefully it continues one more year.